Workbench. Today we're going to be taking a look at comparing a thread restorer set versus a tap and die set. So the internet's been buzzing recently from what I can tell with uh, comparisons between when you want to use a master re-thread or a restorer set versus using a tap and die to repair some damaged uh, bolts. So I thought I'd do a quick test here. So what we've got is we've got a couple uh, quarter 20 uh, bolts here. Uh, these are quarter inch size and by 20 threads per inch. And so I'm going to take a hammer here and I'm going to purposely damage the threads here. Uh, a couple of the threads here on each of these. And we'll do the same to the other one. And so now with damaged threads on both of these, let me grab a nut just to demonstrate the damage. So I've got a wing nut here that should be able to fit on these if these were proper. This is binding up here and getting stuck. I can only get it about there because of the damage on that one. And on the other bolt here, uh, it looks like I didn't do a very good job damaging that one. So let's uh, pound that out a little bit more. Okay, this should be hopefully by now good and damaged. Now we're getting bound up and getting stuck. I can feel it's a little rough here. It should thread all the way up. And you got the damage up there. So now let's see how this works. Because this wing nut should be able to thread all the way up on these bolts here. This is a half, I'm sorry, quarter 20 bolt. So that I'm going to do the first one here with the master thread uh, restorer kit. And since this is a quarter 20, uh, what we're going to use, we're going to use out of here uh, our coarse thread out of our kit here, and that would be our quarter inch. Let me find the quarter inch one. Okay, here we go. So we got our quarter inch thread restorer. And so now I'm going to slide this on here. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go get a pair of pliers to work this around. So now with this thread restore here, I'm going to have to hold my bolt here ahead with a pair of pliers, and I'm going to use another one here to twist the thread re the thread restore. And let this do its job on the threads. you recall, the nut was still actually able to pass this section of the bolt. So as I'm going here, I'm getting through the damage section here. The force that's taken me to rotate this is gradually increasing, as you'd expect it to. Now I'm all the way to the end of the thread section of this bolt. So let me back off the thread restorer here. And it looks like I'll be able to do that by hand. OK, 
Okay, so if you look in the thread restorer here, you can see that we've got uh, no damage to that, so that's in good shape. If we look at our bolt, and we look all the way around here, the threads now look much better. Here's with the section that was hammered. It looks much more clean and uniform. We'll take that same wing nut that wasn't able to thread all the way on there before. Now with just a very light tap of the finger, you can see that go all the way around. And so it looks like our thread restoration kit certainly did its job. Now, let's compare that to how a tap and die performed for the same task. Okay, so we're going to use the other bolt that we didn't have before. And we're going to take this and just put this into our die. And I'll take out my pliers here. Luckily here, just with the accessories here from the die set, I don't have to hold... So two sets of pliers. As I get close to that damage section here, I can definitely feel this bite into it. Alright, so we've got all the way up to the last set of the threads that were already cut onto this bolt have now been run into uh, the die, so let's back this off. In this case here, it feels like when I'm backing this off here, I'm going to need to use pliers still. Now let's take a look at the threads. And look at the threads as cut by the uh, the die. See these look. You can see there's a little part here. It's just slightly narrower than what the threads are supposed to be. And as you recall before, the wing nut did not thread all the way up after the damage I did by the hammer. So now let me take this that same wing nut here, and you can see me just be able to flick this with the finger here. And my tap set was able to do essentially the exact same thing. Um, so if you're considering getting a master re a master thread restorer kit or a tap and die, if I had to make a recommendation for most people, I would just buy the tap and die set because you also get the ability to cut threads in addition to restore threads. Um, although there might be other cases where you want the master thread restorer kit, especially if you're working a lot of odd size bolts and you want to be extra delicate, it's just a different way to do, do it with a different set of tools. I um, might get you in other places here. Especially when you consider the difference in size, or how you might be able to use it for a quarter inch. My master thread set was just like a quarter inch bolt. It's obviously a specialty bolt made out of uh, heavy duty uh, steel, versus using the tap set here. And I got my tap wrench, I'm sorry, my die with my die wrench here. And this is a much larger tool that may not be able to get into every space. Where this, if I had to, I could put this uh, simply into a wrench or a socket set and just run this on with a socket, especially onto a small stud, uh, or if I've got limited access where I couldn't actually run uh, one of these actual dies. So depending upon your application, uh, choose wisely, but it seems like you could do either with either set. Um, so I hope you found this useful, and have a great day. Bye.